twisting Apennine mountain roads in northern Italy once served Phil Hill and his Ferrari teammates as a test track for their racing cars. Now they're a path back to his past, a path that leads to the legendary fiefdom of Enzo Ferrari at Marinello. Here, Hill spent six years as a team driver, watching the world's fastest racing cars being handcrafted in the vast Ferrari competition shops. Like his escort, engineer Franco Gazzi, the people and place are little changed. Well, the factory itself hasn't changed all that much, but the scientific way that they go about things has just gone way ahead from where it was when I was there. I mean, granted, they were, even at that time, they were supreme as far as engine development and everything was concerned, but they, they were isolationists. They didn't like to look at what the rest of the world was doing in a technical way, especially concerning chassis. And consequently, we're way behind all the time. I mean, it, we won in spite of clumsy, ill-handling chassis. Was it? Well, what thrills me is to see the tenacity, you understand, the year after year after year uh, yeah, of, yeah. of progress, you know, and the yeah. devotion that he has to this concept he is... is uh, I mean, the old man is really devoted. Mm. Yeah. How many people in this day and age for all intents and purposes, give their life for a cause like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Gabriel. Ciao. Oh, no, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, ha dei soldi, è molto ricco, il signore è diventato papà due volte. No, guarda, le mani, sono mani di un lavoratore. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, ci vediamo. Uh, a very large part of the employees and workers there uh, have a devotion that sort of goes on year in, year out. And uh, I met a lot of the fellows that used to be on the racing teams, and apparently they get awful tired of that. You know, that coming and going, that unbelievable franticness about having to get somewhere on time and fights with border people and, uh, uh, you know, customs and all that sort of stuff, and then things going wrong and then back home again, and even the enticement of a possible winning a race or something is not sufficient to, for them to want to uh, leave home because I saw a large number of them that are just, in fact, the whole team, the racing team is new, and the old guys are sitting at home now and saying that they're very glad to do it. This is the same radio of uh, of, of Monza. In deference to the visit by his former champion, the proud old man grants a rare audience. Ecco, noi abbiamo qui il vecchio campione. Noi ti salutiamo e ti facciamo tanti tanti auguri. I suppose that when I met him again, I felt that uh, I was sort of more equipped to deal with, uh, oh, the super daddy symbol on a, on a more mature level, I guess, because he did represent that to me. He was the sort of super male power in my life. The feeling was really that he had mellowed with age. Well, I'm not so sure that he really has. I think I was probably a large part of that feeling.